beauties it's Mika welcome back to my channel so today I am going to hop on here real quick short sweet review of the Laura Mercier flawless contouring palette I'm rocking my glasses today because my eyeballs were not feeling the contacts so yeah um, it is the Laura Mercier cream contour palette um, I showed this on my Instagram make sure you guys follow me there and a lot a lot a lot of you said you wanted a review so I have a review um, I have a demo of me using the products and yeah I'm gonna let you guys know what I think so if you would like to know my thoughts and feelings about the contour kit then just keep on watching Let's just jump right into it. I'm not going to talk about the packaging and do all that. Well, it is this like nice um, brown hard cardboard packaging. It comes with a decent sized mirror and it also comes with tips and tricks and things on what to do and where to highlight and where to contour. So yeah, I'm going to jump into the palette. So there are three contour shades as you can see. Um, this is contour one. Here we have contour two and here we have contour three and they're going from lightest to darkest. And then there are two highlight shades here. So not all um, cream contour palettes are created equally. So I'm going to first start off by saying that these highlighting shades are not under eye highlighting shades in my opinion because they are full of shimmer and glitter. They are super shimmery. So these are more of brow bone highlights, not under, eye, not under eye highlights. So to highlight your under eye, you're gonna have to use like a, a concealer or something else that you have to highlight your under eyes, which I don't like. This was 50 bucks, okay? And for $50, I expect to have everything that I need to contour and highlight. So. If you can see, these are very glittery, okay? So that's a nice, a yellow one and um, like a rosy bronzy highlight. I mean, they're pretty, but they are not under eye highlights whatsoever. They're more cheekbone highlights. So that is my first issue with it. My second issue is they're not very pigmented, not whatsoever, the highlight shades. In my opinion, they're very sheer. Um, I wish it kind of came off a little brighter in my opinion like it's just it's very very sheer and then once you blend it into your skin it it like you can hardly even see it so I know highlights are supposed to be subtle you're not supposed to have like boom this huge highlight but I was just expecting more from these two highlight shades okay so now for the contour shades so as you can see there are three let me swatch them for you okay so I hope you can see these are the highlights the contour shades I'm sorry so we first have contour one contour two and contour three so what I do like about these contour shades is that they are very cool toned you don't want to contour with any warm tone um, contour creams powders whatever so these are very cool toned which I think um, is very nice. I am using contour 3 which is the darkest shade in the um, kit and I don't think I'm that dark skinned. I know there's people that have deeper skin tones than me so I don't think that this contour kit would work for you because contour 3 is the darkest and it's not super pigmented on my skin tone. I do like the formula. It's very creamy um, it blends very nicely. It kind of has a little bit of a greasy feel, just a tad bit, but I don't feel greasy on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel weighed down. What I don't like is that they aren't very long lasting, not whatsoever. So, um, I have had this on my face for about four hours and it is not nearly as pigmented as it was when I initially put it on. So to me, I expect my contour to last way longer than four hours. For $50, I want this shit to last pretty much damn near all day. So 
it's the the formula is very nice they're very creamy they blend very nicely but I wish they were more pigmented I wish they lasted longer I wish it wasn't so darn expensive and I don't think it's going to work with uh, work for women of deeper skin tone and that is is my opinion the highlight shades um, they're too shimmery I wish there were like a matte one like a matte under eye highlight I wish they were both matte under eye highlights because I have so many different you know compact you know highlighters that I want a nice under eye highlight and these are not going to do it at all not whatsoever so because this was $50 I like it, but I'm going to have to take it back. Um, it's it's funny because I know the Anastasia one is like super dry, and I think this is like too creamy to where it's going to slip off your face. It's going to slip. It slips and it slides. It doesn't last very long. If you're oily like me, it's not going to work for you because it doesn't work for me. I wish it did work, and I like I like the contour shade. I really like Deep Three because I feel like. It showed on my skin it looked really 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 good but I just I, I was expecting more from Laura Mercier she produces higher quality products and this just is not there so that's it short sweet spin the dough heck no heck no I wouldn't personally I'm gonna take it back I would not spend your money on this so that is it you guys real quick I hope you guys enjoyed this um, review uh, let me know what you want to see next from me. If you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload new videos. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy honest reviews. I'm telling you, don't get it. And follow me on my social media because I love to be active with you guys there. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.